Welcome to How to Play from the Low Ground, presented by Fortnite Master. Typically, people think playing from high ground is always the best option, but every so often a player will run into a situation where playing from the low ground is the right decision, or sometimes the only decision. This video will cover the different strategies that can be employed when you find yourself in these scenarios. When would you play from the low ground? If you're low on mats and can't retake high ground. If you're getting endlessly outbuilt. If you're trying to find a hiding spot after disengaging your enemy so you can heal. To help avoid third party situations. If you see a chance to punish an enemy for building too high on flimsy support. Normally it is very hard to retake high ground against a good player. So knowing how to play from low ground is extremely important. Here are some tips for when you find yourself playing from low ground. While on the low ground, you likely won't have vision of your opponent, so you need to use audio cues to track your enemy's movement while they're looking for you. Keep an ear open for the enemy dropping down from high ground, which will make a noticeable noise. When you drop down to play from low ground, building a 1x1 one one for protection is something you can do if your enemy is aware of your location and is chasing you down. Place a pyramid for extra protection from above because if your enemy knows your position, they will be able to shoot your protections down and eliminate you. While in a 1x1, one one, you can quickly edit and surprise the person shooting you as well, especially if they drop down to try and finish you off. Once you're on the ground in a 1x1, one one, consider expanding outwards with more 1x1s. One this acts almost like a maze to make it harder for the enemy to find your exact position. If you're snaking underneath an enemy base, you can break and replace your enemy's walls with your own, then edit all of them to a half wall to cause their structure to collapse. Structures need to be held up by foundations underneath it. For a structure to be supported, it needs to be connected by an edge to another structure that touches the ground. In a large build fight, the structures that are built will usually have a number of weak spots in them that can be shot down. If a build fight is getting too high, aka you'll die from falling, sometimes the best play is to drop down and try destroying the structure. Try to identify the weakest points in a structure's foundation so you can shoot them out or destroy them with a pickaxe. A good tip to break foundations without being seen is to edit a window from a 1x1 one one so you can shoot out the foundation's weak points while maintaining cover. When you've broken their structure, make sure to build up so that you'll be able to get the high ground advantage over them. Smart players will know they have to drop down as soon as they hear the structure being destroyed, so it's up to you to be ready when they drop down. If you have an accurate shot, it's possible to shoot the enemy as they're falling. Otherwise, get ready to start building and possibly get high ground as soon as you break the foundation. Pre-existing houses and buildings can be great options for natural cover on low ground. They're usually very difficult to shoot down which usually forces the person with the high ground advantage to spend a lot of ammo trying to find you or drop down to finish you. Don't be afraid to drop down onto the ground level of a building to try and get away from someone who's holding an angle on you.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed. As well, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. From Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.